So first you'll have to install PyAuto GUI package. So once it's done, you'll have to create a spam text file where each of your spam messages is in a different line. And make sure there is a new line character or you have pressed enter after the last line as well. Once it is done, we are going to create a new Python file. Let's name it spampod.py and we are going to open it with Python editor. So here we'll import PyAuto GUI package and time package. Next, we will define a list spam text, which has all the messages from our spam text file in the form of a list. Once it is done, we are going to take each message from spam text and we are going to write it using typewrite function in PyAuto GUI. Now, as soon as you run the program, the messages from the spam text will start getting typed where my cursor is. So we need some time to switch to a different window after running the program. So we're going to add some delay before the program starts writing. Let's save this program and test it. So I have opened my WhatsApp on WhatsApp web and now I'm going to run this program using F5. And as soon as I run the program, I'm going to switch to this window and click on the message box to get my cursor here. So let's test it. So as you can see, it is working. So after each message, you'll have to press enter. But since in our text file, there is a new line character, or you can see we have already pressed enter to get to the next line, that part is automatically taken from here. But if you want enter functionality separately, after the message is typed, you can write pi auto GUI dot press and pass enter as a string. So this will make sure after each message is typed, enter key is also pressed. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.